Hello and welcome to my channel. So I wanted to show a bit about DataCamp because I've really liked using this site in the past. It's been a while so I started with the Python course and I'm at the beginning. Okay, um, I'm not going to watch the video on here but I'm going to skip right to the first exercise. So basically this is where you would put your code. This is the output of the code. And here are the instructions. So it says right here that I need to find the answer of 7 plus 10. I'm going to run. Oh, uh, it looks right to me, so I'm going to submit. Yay. So this one asks, which of these situations will Python uh, be a good choice? I'm going to assume it will be all of the above. I like Python generally. I don't know it very well. I think it's um, a really good language. I've liked it for a while. Alright, now we are going to add a comment which is just a number sign. And I'm going to submit because it doesn't do anything to the code. Good. Moving on. Python as a calculator. This is... I'm not into all the calculations. From what I can tell, we're supposed to say 100 times 1.1 1 .1, uh, to the 7th. So let's see if that's right. Nope. Uh, let me try... Oh, wait, I didn't... Okay, yeah, I messed this up pretty bad. Print out the result of this calculation. See if that works. And if I had run it, maybe I would have noticed. It's easier for me to tell on a bigger on a bigger application and on something I'm more interested in. Alright, so now we're gonna start with variables. They want one called savings, and then we print the value of savings. Okay, we print out the value of savings. And I assume, is it zero? Is it null? Okay, and we set it equal to 100. I thought they were just trying to play a trick on us. Okay, it's 100. Alright, passed. So, we're creating a variable called growth. Multiplier and it is 1.1. Here it seems like we are going to print result. So the only thing is for calculate result is oh, so we're doing the same problem that we did before. But we're using variables to do it. The growth. Multiplier. Which I assume I could have pushed a button to accept that. And we want to say after seven years. And this is not meant to be a hundred, I messed that up. This is meant to be savings. And you're supposed to run, make sure it works, submit answer, and it was right. You have keyboard shortcuts. The keyboard's farther away from me, so I'm not gonna look at that. Alright, so there's a variable called description. 
which we're setting to compound interest. And then we're creating a variable called profitable and we're setting it to true. So compound interest is a string as quotes around it and profitable is boolean. Uh, so uh, number variables, integers, um, and decimals, and all those are pink, and strings are pink in this IDE, and then booleans are blue. Okay, some people like the blank line. Run code to test it. Uh, I don't know, I think it's right. Continue. We didn't print anything out, so... All right, so they've created three variables, A, B, and C, and we're meant to find the type of them. So I'm going to see if this works. Huh. So we're writing in the shell. A is a float, B is a string, and C is a boolean. Oh, float, that's the decimal variable. I would think it would be good to have at least a little bit of programming background before you do this, but this is data camp meant to teach data science, not meant to teach programming, so it makes sense. They give these introduction to a language as a uh, way to get started if your main language, if you haven't worked with any of the languages that they use. All right, so the first thing, assign product of growth multiplier and savings to year one. So we're creating a variable called year one, and that equals Growth multiplier, can I just, okay, push enter. Growth multiplier times savings. All right, now we check the type of year one. What type do you think year one is going to be? My guess, oops, type, is a float. Assign sum of description and description to double description so think about what you think this is going to end up with double description equals description description i think it is going to have the string twice and then we're going to print double description. There are, there are different things that this could be doing. But that's my guess is um, it'll just have the description twice. Oh, it did. Um... No. How come we didn't get the type of year one? Oh, because I didn't print. Print the type of year one. All right, let's see. Oh, here, print, float. Okay, so I was right on that and I was right on that. Now, I want to say there are some languages where if you add two strings, what you will get is something not expected. I'm not going to go into that, but that is a good thing to, to know. I'm going to stop here for now, and I'm going to come back to it.
because I'd like to get farther and see if I can start on some of the data science courses on this uh, website. So let me know what you thought of this video and let me know if there's anything that you would like to see on this channel and uh, I'll see you later.